Good morning from Okinawa. As you can see, I'm in front of a Don Quixote. If you don't know what a Don Quixote is, it's like a crazy Walmart. So even though this is Japan, it definitely looks more like Southeast Asia. <laughs> uh, just on uh, first viewing. Of course, this is known as like a tropical paradise, but as you can see, pick the perfect day. <laughs> Today's gonna be fun. I'm going on a bus tour all around seeing some of the biggest sites in the island. So I look forward to seeing that. So this place wasn't always Japan. It was a kingdom called Ru Kyu. Now, I don't know much about it, but I can tell you that it was around before the Japanese Empire in this area. And this is a theme park dedicated to its history and also uh, to sell you all stuff from the area. All the sea life you can find in this area. A very big rope they have there. Hey, I wonder if Candle Jack made. You got these very traditional houses with thatched roofs on them. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh my goodness. He's peeing. Welcome to Japan, everybody. These old style houses, pretty cool. Here's a little temple to pray for whatever you want to pray for. Very cute. Odd to see a cool. actual giant water buffalo here though. They gave us about 50 minutes into this cultural park, so we gotta hit the bus now. <laughs> Not bad for a short trip in. I think five more minutes you could have seen everything. <laughs> Now this is all like a store, shop, slash cultural center for a natural landmark that's out in the sea. It costs 100 yen to go see. So let's go see what it is. Out on this very pathway, you can see this beautiful elephant. If you think I'm hyping this up to make it sound like there's an elephant living by the sea, I hate to break it to you, but it's, it's a rock formation. You look closely, I think you can see it. Oh man, the natural beauty of this area is amazing. Look out! <laughs> bus tour like goes really fast you have to get in and out really quickly but there's a two hour window where we're going to the biggest aquarium in Japan and I'm super stoked about it. There's a whole giant park that gets you right into the aquarium. This beautiful fountain that's literally coming to life with puking lions and wow it's like going to Disney. These net things are big in Japan. And I like Pokemon in Okinawa, guys. Oh my goodness, they live here on the island. Oh, well, let's go home. Oh, 
Oh, that's a huge sea snake. Wow. Oh my gosh. They have snakes in the water out here? That's terrifying. That is a huge monster. I don't know what he's doing. It's Oh man, this is the famous like window to the sea. Oh, sharks. Uh, well, there's a great white shark. Oh. something out of a Jules Boone story. All it needs is more rusty um, sightings and you got it. <laughs> a little sawfish there. Grouper, eels. This reminds me of the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, or the Sea Ride in Disney, when it went to the uh, shark area. There's visual memories of that. Oh. oh, hey, giant deep sea squid that live in Okinawa. A reason not to go swimming in the ocean here. Oh my god. Whales. A giant whale. Hey, that's what I know a little bit about. Turtles are all fixated on getting food, which I don't blame them. One thing I really like about this aquarium, it's very quite nice. I mean, look how nice this is. You got these nice turtles in them. Oh, you have that right there. And you got dolphins. Wow. Cute. And there's also a native. Okinawan Village over here too. Let's go check that out. As I learned from the place that we went earlier today, this would be a place for prayer. So you go in there and you pray. There's but it is already time to get on the bus. So on the bus, we shall go. There are some seriously dangerous animals that live in this water here in Okinawa. Not to mention giant freaking squids. But if it wasn't winter, I think I'd still be swimming in there. Oh, looks like I am buying this, huh? I've just arrived back in the downtown area of, well, downtown area of the Naha airport area. I'm sorry, I don't remember the name here in Okinawa. And uh, yeah, they got this nice little fishing boat here. There's a new one. Uh, here's Hotel Okinawa with some real character. Get checked in by Hello Kitty herself. Oh my goodness, a robotic Hello Kitty. And this is big thing in the center of all the Hello Kitty characters. It's going at it. What's going on in this weird, crazy place. All right, gonna try a famous steak restaurant here in Okinawa, Steakhouse 88. Oh, uh, yeah, this place looks pretty authentic. <laughs> the food for US Armed Forces right there. This looks fantastic. I'll take it. Oh my 
my goodness, it's the first time I've ever seen a Gamera uh, in this Okinawan gift store. <laughs> uh, hey, Gamera, friend to all, and uh, rip off of Godzilla. Oh man, Spuds McKenzie, he's the coolest dog in town. There's their famous snake sake, the snake from 19 in the bottle. Oh my goodness, this store has so much going on in it. There's giant cat on top, Batman, Superman, Mario, Ronald McDonald, uh, Buzz Lightyear, Astro, Stitch. Uh, the Incredible Hulk's over there in the corner, Jaws, uh, Gundams, uh, there's just a lot going on here. And it's all souvenir stuff, folks. I mean, I'm interested. Wouldn't you be? There's Gamera up there, a Velociraptor from Jurassic Park. Jake and Elwood, an alien from Mars Attacks? He's up there too? What? Yeah, this is a bizarre menagerie of things all Slam together. Oh my goodness, it's a sriracha vending machine. What do they sell on this? Sriracha. It's about 800 yen, which is about $6 USD. So if you want sriracha, you could come to Japan and get your own. <laughs> there you go. That big multicolored building right there is where we started this adventure, and that's uh, where it's also going to end today. We're going to go explore again tomorrow, and then, uh, well, you know, take it easy the next day. As I always say, you can do it, we can all do it. Stay groovy. You can do it. I can do it. We can all do it. Stay groovy. I haven't said that in a long time. Bye-bye, everybody.